What if I told you you could build your own hydroponic systems and create less maintenance than most gardens? Would you be surprised to learn that you can grow a plant for its entire lifetime and not have to add any water, not use any electricity for pumps or air stones? While most of us who garden indoors use common compact systems uh, such as what you see here, they do have a few limitations. One is having to add nutrients and water more often also is the availability of grow space. The gardens that you see here have jalapeno pepper plants and a jalapeno pepper plant is easily going to be at least 24 inches in diameter too large for a little garden such as this. You could move up to a larger garden such as this um, arrow garden bounty which has a 50 watt light and has the ability to grow a couple of those uh, pepper plants. Or even a six gallon container that you could use with uh, one pepper plant. But that does have some limitations as well because you will have to keep the water uh, topped off, changed, and periodic maintenance uh, would include uh, pumping out all the water, cleaning the system, and refilling it with fresh nutrients. The benefit of active hydroponic systems is that you typically get around 33% more productivity, as well as being able to grow indoors uh, for a longer time. These peppers can easily go uh, 24 months indoors in an active system. So why would I grow with a passive system such as the ones used by Professor uh, Bernard Cranky, who did uh, gravity feed static systems, as well as fill once and forget containers. He typically did fill once and forget for lettuce and watercress, but also did a 32 gallon with cucumbers. And so I have done a little bit of uh, research with filling once and forgetting with several different uh, varieties of vegetables. The advantage for me is in areas without availability of electricity, such as outdoors or indoors, where I want to simplify maintenance, it is about four to six gallons per pound of fresh vegetables. And this is a very simple system to set up and use, especially for people who are busy or perhaps you have other people who are not the typical green thumb gardener who you can set up a system for and they can enjoy the benefits of. I drilled the lid on this container for a 3.75 inch net cup. Spray painted the uh, lid black and that just helps to keep light from passing through and creating algae inside the container. The container itself is a plastic shipping container and this drum is 14 gallons and holds uh, 100 pounds and was used for transporting uh, liquid sugar. This is what it looked like on purchase. So, while there's several paints out there on the market, I'm using a Fusion for Plastic spray paint to paint the lid. Rather than paint the top of the lid, I've selected to paint the bottom of the lid. It's indoors, and the water level is going to be below the lid, so it should not matter and should still provide me the protection against algae from a grow light overhead. Another difference is I'm using a inch and one quarter hole saw, and this is a common cordless power drill, and it has a drill that goes down the center as well as the uh, metal hole saw with teeth. So what you're going to end up doing is you're going to turn in a forward direction until the teeth come down and make contact. 
then you're going to uh, flip it into a reverse and then turn the drill backwards until it goes through the top of the lid such as that. This permits the plants that I'm growing right now as well as the ones from several of the common uh, desktop uh, gardens to be able to be dropped in through that hole and sit flush on top of that lid. So the inch and a quarter has been the best drill bit that I have found for doing this. Underneath the lid, I'm going to fill the container up until it comes up onto that grow sponge about a half an inch. And all those white roots that you see are going to start uh, growing into the nutrient solution below. As I mentioned, no need for an air pump or a uh, water pump inside of this container. You'll want a grow light, you know, that is around probably uh, 65 to 100 watts uh, for this uh, particular pepper. It's going to spread out, as I mentioned, probably around uh, 24 inches in diameter. And if you're into measuring lights and output, probably uh, you're looking to have about uh, 400 to 600 uh, PPFD over the top of that uh, pepper plant. Growing indoors, keep in mind that even though these containers can be dropped off the back of a truck at highway speeds and still not crack, always plan for your water to possibly come out if you're uh, filling these up for the first time, or if you need to uh, end to grow and get rid of water, a nice spot in an inf unfinished uh, basement would probably be close to where your sump pump is because the water can be directed directly into that sump pump area and pumped outside. And that is the Passive Hydroponics project that uh, I have for you today, based off the research, as I mentioned, from uh, Professor Bernard Cracky.